All right, so let's talk about our niche. We are basically, to start, going to do two kinds of surveys. Our niche. Two three. surveys. Three, three maps. Three, three types of maps. Yeah. Okay. Three types of maps. No, three types of, of surveys. Three okay. types of surveys. We're going to do land title surveys. We're going to do a lot of those. Land title surveys. Okay. And we, I need to teach you girls what those are. We will. Okay. Okay. Those are going to be done as a part of a commercial real estate transaction. Mm -hmm. So we'll be working with either an attorney or a real estate broker so or a bank. We have, we have to contact who? We're going to be working for a real estate broker, an attorney, or a bank. Real estate broker. And we'll do a separate class, not today, about that. Attorney or who? Or a bank. Or a bank. Okay, two. Okay. And the second thing we're going to do is we will do uh, some small land development surveys. So that's. Some small. You said bank? Yeah. Yep. We're, what, that's just for title, right? I'll explain it. We'll do we'll do a separate class on land title surveys, a short one. Some Okay, so land you say some small land development? Yeah, so this is somebody that's got a forty acre lot and they want to split it into two twenty. So this is usually subdivision work. And that's what we're doing in Tracy. Somebody's got an existing subdivision work. Commercial parcel and we're splitting it in two. Okay. So subdivision work is splitting things up. Getting getting property prepared to actually do something with it. Putting. Okay. Oh, I like that development. better. Preparing property. Yeah, for development. For development. Thank okay. you. Okay. The third thing we'll do is we will do what I call design support surveys. Designs. Okay, and that Why is where. Why do you say you call it that? Is that something new? No. Oh. So design support surveys are when we do. Mm -hmm. Boundary, topo, and utilities for an architect or a civil engineer. Boundary, topo, topo, and or utilities. And that's always for a design team. That's why it's called a design support service. So we're doing that for an architect or a civil. So then it's going to be an architect or a civil. Yep. Who do you think is our best target? I would say probably... If I had to guess, our mix is probably going to end up being 50% because they do a lot of these. Every time a commercial property buys and sells, almost every time they do one of these. What have we been doing? Land development is you probably going to be... you have one? And then yeah. we'll probably split... No. The rest will probably be split, 25-25. Every time we set a, a commercial property sells, they do one. If they, have, they already have if one? They, yep. If they have fine, even if it was six months ago, if they have a financing, the bank made some. The bank almost oh, always makes them get a survey. We had to do this in our house. So that's where I. That's that's where I want to. I want to be doing every land title survey in downtown Stockton. I want to own downtown Stockton. So, There's enough work in downtown Stockton. Well, yeah. If they How have to get, get one at the time, then we'd be golden. Well, we'll talk about that, but not right now. So what I want to want. It's kind of important. What do you mean? We'll talk, okay. Target Whatever is it is that I need to know to go do what I gotta do, I need to know like now. That's yes. why I've been tweaking because we haven't done this training. Well, no, it's, it's good so, to understand all this stuff, but well, who's the target? Okay, so just hang on. I got a whole whiteboard to get through here. Yeah, but I gotta okay. leave in a little bit to go get my eyeglasses. Okay, so what's not and on this board? Houses. houses. Residential surveys, surveys for cities and counties and the state. Mm -hmm. Construction Why? surveys. Okay, yeah. yeah. That is not our niche. Because okay. Lanny don't like it. This is what we're gonna do right here. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, I'm gonna take ten more minutes to talk about our typical clients, and then Monique, I'll let you go. I don't know what Vanessa's schedule is like. What's your schedule like, cousin? Today? Uh, I just gotta get my kid. We're yeah, what time? Okay, so then I'll do a little more with Vanessa. What are you gonna do? I'll probably teach her some of the tools. So the no no's are residential, state, and county, and construction. Yep. Nothing else? It's easier to focus on what we do do than what we don't do. I know, but I still want to list what we don't. That's a good list for now. Okay. 
Okay. The other thing that we'll that do, the other thing we'll do because we're in the valley is I will do flood hazard stuff. Lomars, Lomas, elevation certificates for commercial property. I will do that. But flood flood hazard. hazard. Flood hazard, because flooding is a huge issue in the valley. I understand that, but flood hazard. How would that not be a government or city? It's kind not. Of thing? It's not because they. It's just for developing or building. Yeah, they map a floodplain. Anytime you want to build anything near a floodplain, they make you go figure out exactly where the floodplain is and where your stuff's going to be. Okay, so we're going to talk about our target clients. These are in marketing. These are called personas. Okay. So I'm going to describe to you our our typical clients, and we'll do some more work on these personas. But one is a commercial real estate agent. So this is somebody that helps people buy and sell commercial property. Okay, when I say commercial, I mean Real, re, retail, industrial, office, ag, everything but residential. Okay, They are going to be some of our best clients. Because on most of those deals, if they're being financed, they need a survey to get financing from the bank. Okay, Our second is going to be an architect or civil. Probably at small firms. Architect. Probably it's small firms without their own in house survey. That's important. A lot of small civils and architects don't have their own surveyors, so but they still need surveys. Okay, and I already had one of them, a, an architect, reached out to me on LinkedIn when she saw my post and said, Hey, we're looking for good surveyors. Did you contact her? Not yet. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I did respond. I haven't heard okay. back from her. So, but Vanessa's going to go see her next week. What's Vanessa going to have for her? She's going to bring her a little pamphlet and say, you know, tell her about our business and what we'd like, how we can help her. Did okay. you design that flyer for the advertisement? Mm -hmm. Why don't you send her that? I, I've got some stuff I'm working to get together. Okay. Do you need but, help with that? I, I, I'm not that organized yet. I'm still trying How's to process. How's the going, Vanessa? Uh, tomorrow. Good. Hey, the third. So, yeah. <laughs> The architect and, and civil engineer, these are private, yes. non-government companies yep. that are small. Like so Mom and if you want to build, let's say you're, you know, you're going down French Camp, you're going down Airport Way and French Camp Road, it's a really busy intersection, and you want to do a new gas station and general store there. Okay. Is it utility? So oh, you're going to have to go hire an architect or a civil, and the very first thing they're going to need is a survey okay. and some land planning help. So you added utilities on there. We're going to need Mark and Locate. We're going to do Mark and Locate, I think. Are there very many <coughs> private architect companies like yeah. that? Yeah. There are? Yep. Okay. And Danny's talking to a buddy of his that runs a small civil shop that doesn't have a surveyor. We're going to have lunch with him. Gary. All I need... Okay, well, let me put the last one up here. So the last client that we'll work with more than likely is a land attorney. Like Dan or Dom or Armand. Okay. And when we're doing that, either people are fighting over a boundary, or they're fighting over an easement, or they're suing an agency, or they're, or the title company's trying to clean something up, and we're going to work with the land attorney. Personas. So commercial real estate agent. What are the odds of those architects and civil engineers having their own surveyor? Is it, is it pretty common or no? So the smaller the firm, the less likely they're going to have their own surveyor, because surveyors are a pain in the butt. And you got to remember, surveyors are what we call, for our business, the surveyors are, are capital intensive. In other words, it's, it takes a huge investment in money and training to, to get a survey department running. Right. Yes. Well, then a civil want one now? Civil, si surveyors are a pain in the butt. But civils would have to need surveyors. Some, some do. So like my buddy, Kevin, they run a civil survey company. That is the most common combination, the civil and the surveyor. Okay, but some companies don't. What does no in-house surveyor mean? That means they don't have their own in-house. They don't have survey in-house. They don't have a surveyor. They sub that but out. But wouldn't, that's what I'm asking. So wouldn't they want to keep a surveyor yeah, if he's but good? but surveyors are a pain in the butt and they're expensive. Look at what happened to Ron Hawkins. He didn't want to pay his two land surveyors. So what happened? He lost his survey capability because he didn't want to pay. How much is an architect or civil engineer for, say, if we... 
that way down the road wanted to. So I could I could have an architect or civil sub for me. That is not a typical process, but it, it could be in some situations. Because they do know some surveying. We, we right? could talk about that. They can't. Well, by law, they can't survey. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. So I think our best is three. That's one. Yeah, I'm gonna probably this this market right here. I'm typically gonna get oh. word of mouth. Yeah. That most one of, and two is our target. Yes, I would say yeah. I agree with you. One There's enough two. work of just number one to keep us busy. One is is the the main cheese, yeah. I think, because if the one fact that they two. have to get one every time they buy a commercial yep. property, they, like and that's if we're golden. good and we're okay. honest. And we're now, is there a way to look at how many commercial properties are sold in this area? And I've got all kind, I got all kinds of information for you. So let me take a break. Monique can go. Then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why this job is going to be way easier than you think. It would be super low pressure. Okay. Well, like you said, that there are there's already a need. There is. There are, but I'm going to tell you. It's you not said like, I can go or what? Yeah, you can go. Okay, five and but, but basically, it'd be just like I'm going to walk in. I'm going to have my information. I'm just introduce myself and say I'm. I'm it's going to be even easier than that. So I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that you won't do some of that. But like this here. I don't know. I don't know. Let me use the right. Here you go. Let's go, guys. Like.